Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like and please subscribe down below. I appreciate the support from everybody. And we have my favorite sneaker of all time, the Nike Air Force One in front of us. If you've watched the channel, I reviewed quite a bit of these. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. All black, silver top, Air Force One written on, Air Force One 07 LV8 in a white canyon purple black, men's size 12, and the retail tag is missing on the side right there, but it was 120 US. Plain star white paper on the inside, and this particular pair of Air Force Ones released on March 21st, 2022 on the Nike app, I believe, and retail was 120 US. And this is what we are looking at today. So, perfect, perfect sneaker for the spring and nicer weather coming up. It's something better than just the all triple whites which are always a safe bet my favorite one actually that's still available i think is the cleanest sneaker you can own for spring summer to match any outfit is the all white with the gum bottom i love that low top pair i actually don't have a pair of them i think i'm gonna grab one actually this week but i love that sneaker great for summer spring and this reminds me of that you know, of course just simple to wear easy uh you got black white and a hint of purple and i really like the canyon purple color it looks really good so over the details, we have a white leather upper, perforation here on the toe box in white leather, double contrasted stitching in white, white leather paneling on the mid part of the upper, and white leather back here. All the same style leather. It's not amazing quality, but it's good. So I mean, don't let that has don't let that uh, steer you from buying these. I think these are a solid pickup. If they're in stock, I would recommend grabbing them, especially if you like Air Force Ones. You want something a little bit easier to wear. Yeah, it does have a little purple on it, but this is really easy to match with almost anything. There is the air printed on the back right here in like a darker purple color. It's darker than the purple you see up here, but it's not quite black like you see on the outsole and the lining. There's an up close look at the Canyon Purple on the swoosh. That goes back to that classic looking hoops patch which kind of reminds me almost like a name tag on a mechanic shirt. And you got the hoops in the purple, white, and black around in the highlight. There is your classic Air Force One outsole in black. Going around to the back of the heel area, we do have a textured heel tab that looks like almost like a rubber. It does feel different than the leather. It doesn't feel like a leather material. It actually feels like a synthetic leather rubberized. It's really weird. Nike Air is stitched in in white though. White striping down the side, medial side, same canyon purple swoosh, and white leather upper. And going around to where the lace debray would be, there is no lace debray on this pair. We do have a stitched in canyon purple swoosh at the bottom of the eyelets. Your eyelets going up are white leather, white flat laces with clear tips, plain laces, and you do have a mesh tongue. So it's kind of a wide open mesh, and you have the white tag with the Nike Air Force One in canyon purple. Your lining is black, and if I can move this out of the way, as you can see, it does have a little cardboard in there. You have an insole, which is quite interesting. You can see the nose right there, where my finger is pointing down at. And you have the teeth. It's a pretty pissed off dog. <laughs> I don't know why the dog's so angry, but it's what they chose to put on the insole, which I think is kind of a unique touch. And I like insoles that have different features like that, even though it's one of the things that nobody's ever going to see. I don't know why the details. I like that kind of stuff. And that is really about it for the lining, the insoles, the tongue, you know, stuff like that. No extra laces with these. And like I said, no lace dubre on either pair. So there is no like lace dubre in the box or anything like that. It's just this Air Force One did not come with one. And details on the sneakers are the same. Same blocking. There is a look at that hoops patch on the back again. Same rubberized Nike Air heel patching right here. There's your medial side. And then going up the tongue, same mesh. And you do get the same insole as you can see the teeth and the nose with the uh, rabid dog in there. Just, I don't know why there's an angry dog on the insole, but if anybody knows why there is an angry dog on the insole, please leave it down in the comments. I'm really confused right now. But I think it's a cool detail. I like these a lot. I think they're a really solid buy for spring, summer. They're easy to wear. I think the purple looks really nice. I'm not a big purple guy, but there is some purples I do tend to gravitate more towards. I like this shade. I'm usually a darker, like, plum royal purple type, but this is... I like what they did here. I really would recommend picking these up. And I'm not saying that like I'm trying to sell them. I just think they're a really solid pair 
for you guys to you know add to the collection or wear during the warmer weather coming up but other than that let me know what you think of these down below i'll try to answer back to everybody get some conversation going in the comments i thank everybody for the support for coming by today watching a review checking out the channel i hope you guys stick around i have more good stuff coming shortly after this video and i hope everybody has a great day all right